Hey there, it's Shannon Magic Myers, and today we're looking at the fourth part for section 3.1, which involves salt mixtures. So here we go. A tank contains 200 liters of fluid in which 30 grams of salt is dissolved. Brine containing one gram of salt per liter is then pumped into the tank at a rate of four liters per minute. The well mix solution is pumped out at the same rate. Find the number A at T of grams of salt in the tank at time T. All right, so we were given that the amount of salt uh, with respect to time is equal to R in minus R out. Sorry. And that is something that we looked at in section 1.3, so you might want to have those notes handy. And just as a reminder, Rn is the inflow concentration. of salt times the inflow rate of liquid. And our out, similarly, would be outflow concentration of salt times outflow rate of liquid of liquid. Let's see what's flowing into the tank. So it says that brine containing one gram of salt per liter is pumped into the tank at a rate of four liters per minute. So we would have basically one gram per liter times four liters per minute. And we got that information from this line. And then the outflow, it's going at the same rate, right? And so we are looking at the outflow here. It's pumped out at the same rate. So basically, that's where we get our variable, okay? So you've got A at T per 200, and that's in grams per liter. And the 200, just so you know, comes from here. The 200 liters of fluid is what it started with, okay? And that one is being pumped at the same rate which was four liters per minute. Okay, so basically simplifying, you would get 50 in the denominator, one in the liter per minute expression. So let's see what we have. We're now gonna have DADT is equal to Rn, which ends up being, if you notice that the liters will divide out, okay, and so we'll have um, four grams per minute. So I'm just gonna put four right here. I'll leave the units for later. Again, these liters divide out as well, and we'll have minus A at T over 50, and that's again in grams per minute. Cool, cool? All right, now instead of calling it A at T, let's just call it A and get it to the other side so we have it linear. 
So we'll have dA dt plus, I'll write it as 1 50th times A equals 4. And now we need to go ahead and find our integrating factor. So the integrating factor will be e to the integral of 1 50th with respect to time, which is e to the 1 50th t. And that's just from the whole, um, you know, I've got a video on linear differential equations um, in my playlist if you need to review on that. Basically, you take that coefficient to the a to the 1 term. Okay, so now multiplying through by our integrating factor on both sides. We will have ddt of e to the 1 50th t times a is equal to 4e to the 1 50th t. And now getting it ready to integrate and separating them, we'll have, sorry about the dogs, <laughs> e to the 1 50th t dA is equal to 4e to the 1 50th t dt. Now I need a factor of 1 50th uh, because if I said u equals 1 50th t, um, du would be 1 50th dt. So if I multiply times 1 50th, I have to balance it out by multiplying times 50. And then integrating, we'll have e to the 1 50th t times a equals 200 e to the 1 50th t plus our constant of integration. Cool, cool. And then isolating a, we will have so we're basically going to multiply both sides by e to the negative 1 50th t. e to the negative 1 50th t to get 200 and then plus c e to the negative 1 50th t. And that would be the amount of salt at time t. Now let's look at the other information. Do you see that we haven't used this little bit yet here, all right? And so we can say that the initial amount of salt is 30 grams. Now, so A at zero is 30. So we can say 30 is equal to 200 plus CE to the negative 1 50th times 0. So 30 equals 200 plus C and negative 170 is equal to C. So that's going to give us our model of A at T equals 200 minus 170 E to the negative 1 50th t. And then we just make sure that we answered all the questions. Yes, we did. We needed to find the amount of salt at time t, which we did. So I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening whenever you're watching this show. And if you like what I'm doing, please hit the like button and subscribe. Bye.